clear your schedule and say goodbye to your loved ones. Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video games overflowing with single-player content. There's no time. Hurry! For this list, we're looking at single-player-focused games that have claimed up to hundreds of hours of our lives. We're not taking into account online competitive games, MMOs, or games that are meant to be replayed over and over. And we're excluding games that require player creativity in order to populate the world with content, like Minecraft or Mario Maker. Finally, we're only allowing one game per franchise. I guess it's time to increase security. Just give me the order. Number 10, Dark Souls. Let's say you're a completionist, and let's say you have a few days worth of spare time to waste on video games. Well, there are a lot of titles out there for you, but let's also say that you enjoy being horribly mutilated every five to 10 minutes. Then, Dark Souls was probably made for you. Don't like coherent storytelling, but love the frustration of being destroyed for hours on end? Dark Souls provides all of this and only this for as long as you care to play. Plus, everyone knows you're a noob if you don't complete it on New Game Plus as well. Duh. One day an undead shall be chosen. Number 9, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. The PF at Dittati Abandoned Village has been supplied with walker gears. Your job is to eliminate them all. The latest entry in the increasingly convoluted espionage action franchise, Metal Gear Solid 5 boasts a healthy amount of straight gameplay if you like ferreting out all the extras. Skullface must be making his final play. Players get wrapped up in the game's classic stealth-based progression, as well as multiple new features like friendly support and upgradable gadgets. Never mind. The main storyline and side ops are all epic and action-packed, but you won't be able to complete it all in a 24-hour gaming marathon. So if you want to complete this one in one sitting, you're gonna have to figure out how a catheter works. Let's finish this. Number eight, Dragon Age Inquisition. You said your friend hasn't reported back? Well, she was supposed to be checking on some apostates. Bioware is known for its epic, sprawling storylines, and Inquisition is no exception. It's not the only such rift. Just the largest. You'll spend hundreds of hours of your time enthralled in character interactions and various choice making. Luckily, it's easy to get caught up in Dragon Age's brand of adventure storytelling. And though many of the side quests are unabashedly radiant, the variety of environments and characters is more than enough of a reason to keep the Inquisition going for weeks on end. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Number 7, Final Fantasy XII. At last. The Bahamut has fallen! When you read the name of this list, you knew right away that at least one of the Final Fantasy installments would make it on, right? This franchise has shown us that the stories don't always have to make sense as long as they last almost forever. I understand. At a bulky 50-something hours of gameplay, to finish the main story in Final Fantasy XII, you'll definitely spill into the triple digits if you decide to tackle a decent helping of the side quests as well. Number six, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Less moaning, more details. What happened? Geralt of Rivia is back again in this nigh-interminable adventure of swords and sorcery. Although it takes approximately 40-something hours to complete the main storyline, a player can find himself stuck in a non-stop spiral of extras and side quests and push the counter way into the 100-hour mark. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? The sprawling world of The Witcher 3 dares players to spend more than a half hour on each quest. And if you don't have great self-discipline, then you might never be putting that controller down. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> Number five, Xenoblade Chronicles. Heads up, Ryan. If this thing wants to fight, let's give it one. It's a story of man versus machines in this indecipherable tale of a hero and sword. Players are likely to be sucked in for the sheer adventure and gameplay, but to what extent? Well, someone who usually bothers finishing a game can spend up to 70-something hours trying to uncover the plot in this awesome mess of an adventure. I think it's time for the introductions. But if, like a lot of gamers, you need to complete something 100%, then you're looking at a whopping 170 hours of hacking and slashing through awesome robots. You're a lifesaver. Rage! Wow! The spin-off slash sequel Chronicles X is also worth checking out, as its somewhat shorter storyline also features a bit more meat for more demanding players. Then... This is goodbye. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. Number four, Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. Is this the last room? Ha! <laughs>
the Japanese video game industry is good at two things. Very long games and wacky storylines. Stop that! That word gives me goosebumps! While the plot here really only makes sense if you've shotgunned a two-liter of Dr. Pepper and done a ton of blow, the gameplay is where Disgaea sets itself apart. A player can easily get sucked into the rich tapestry of strategy-based combat. However, the reason why it's so massive is because of a feature known as Item Worlds, where players can go inside of items to fight up to 100 levels of randomly generated enemies to boost that item's stats. They're simple yet so bright and lively. Number 3. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate You'll likely keep missing your train stop for the next three months with this game. Monster Hunter sets up a cycle of hunt big monsters, carve up their bodies to make weapons and armor, and then use said weapons to fight bigger monsters. Rinse, repeat. Sounds simple, but these monsters are no pushovers, and each and every one is beautifully animated and unique from its peers. Main missions alone can take up to a whopping 80 hours to beat, and double that for the less important missions and grinding. Plus, that's not even taking into account the co-op missions, which can add an extra 400 hours on top of all that. Start investing in a spare battery. Number 2. Dragon Quest VII – Fragments of the Forgotten Past Originally released as Dragon Warrior VII in the US, the seventh installment of the Dragon Quest series for the PS1 is a little longer than most games. In fact, just trying to beat the main storyline will take up to 100 hours, and that's if you ignore all the side quests. But if you've picked up this game, then odds are that you're in it for the full experience, so you're going to be tapping away at those buttons for at least 130 hours. If you missed out on this game for the first time around, look out for the remake, and probably an extra charger, for the 3DS in 2016. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. Yeah, and you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me. That ain't armor. Have you seen me? That little scrap wouldn't cover half a tip. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Mr. Drippy! <gasps> Wait for me! Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. Number one, The Elder Scrolls III, Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. If we didn't have that one per franchise rule, Bethesda's titles would have likely taken up half of this list. But this is one gem that we feel doesn't get any love these days. <laughs> Morrowind is already high up on the list with 45 hours of main storyline, but if the players want to go all the way, they'll find themselves in dungeon puzzles and abandoned keeps for well over 120 hours. Quiet. Here comes the guard. Most importantly though, since Morrowind arrived before the age of radiant quests and fast travel, save for a few boats and stilt striders, all of the faction quests and optional content is richly developed, something that's often lost in today's enormous copy-paste sandboxes. Remember, this was in 2002. There really wasn't anything close to Morrowind at the time. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite game that's taken days of your life away? I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. For more action-packed top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. There will be a trial. I can promise no more.